Hey, what's it like to live in Australia? There was movement at the station, for the word had got around that the cult from old regret had got away and had joined the wild bush horses. He was worth a thousand pound, so all the cracks had gathered to the fray. All the tried and noted riders from stations near and far had mustered at the homestead overnight. For the bushmen love hard riding where the wild bush horses are and the stockmen crack the battle with delight. That's uh, Banjo Patterson. We, uh, we've had a few good poets from Australia. The, the poetry is about the land. I think that's the thing that happens when you come to this country is you get adopted by the land rather than the other way around. And I think that gives people the sense of egalitarianism that really characterises Australia. And as the Aboriginals are, are trying to teach us, the, the Indigenous people are trying to teach us that it's not we that own the land, it's the land that welcomes us. And that's something that's it's very hard for us Westerners to comprehend. But it is such a strange and wonderful land that its beauty and its, its wideness and its colour and the shores um, kind of draw you into understanding that concept. So, you know, Australia's, you know, apart from our, the drop bears, I mean, it's pretty ideal. We've got a few snakes, we've got a few spiders that are venomous, um, a few snakes that can kill people. Um, you've got to be careful, you go out into the ocean, basically you've got to swat away the, the sharks. Pretty much most of the time you go for a swim. But you know, we're, we're pretty tough, so we're kind of used to swatting away sharks and, and, and kicking, out, kicking snakes off. But you've got to be gentle with them. You don't want to kick them unless they're actually coming at you 100 miles an hour. But the only thing that you really got to be wary of is the drop bears, because they are freaking terrifying. They are, you know, they're, they're koala, basically koala bears, but mutant koala bears. And some people think that they're koala bears that are just going, they kind of haven't had enough eucalyptus during the day, and at night time they just go crazy and then drop on you. So you're kind of walking along at night, it can be anywhere in Australia, like, suburban Australia, it can be in the bush, anywhere. And uh, one of these, they look friendly, but once they get on you, on your back, they jump down from the trees, they just drop onto you, and they basically can eat your neck off. In, in like, before you've even known it, your whole neck's gone. So a lot of people in Australia get a lot of neck surgery uh, to get drop bear injury repaired, and a lot of people don't make it. Like, it was a, you know, a lot of people just haven't survived a drop bear attack um, but we do have good things uh, in the 1970s there was a prime minister who he did a few interesting things like he spent a lot of money but he introduced free education so mugs like me got to do medicine without any loans or any cost now that's kind of ridiculous because somebody's got to pay for the education but there's a balance to be had between government and private funding of, um, of education, particularly tertiary education, which can potentially return a lot. So there's been rationalisation of that now. Now, that, now it's subsidised, but it's still relatively fair. And basically people pay it back as they come through their degrees. and. Um, the amount that you pay back for a degree is generally led to how much you'd be expected to earn in, in the profession that you go through. So we kind of got a little bit away from heavily subsidising education in Australia. But one thing that is good, and, and um, a lot of people just don't get it, is the introduction. We, we got a thing called Medicare, which is basically universal healthcare. Now, everybody in Australia is covered by Medicare. Um, and it's something that most Australians are incredibly proud of. Um, it's, it's different from the NHS in that 
a lot of people in Australia still choose to have private health cover. So you can have private health cover and probably about 40% of Australians have private health cover. And there are some advantages in having private health cover in the fact that you have more choice of doctor. Um, you can potentially go to a nicer hospital to have your operation. But basically the standard of care is very similar between public medicine and private medicine in Australia. It's a subtle difference, but it's worth the small cost if you can afford private health cover in most cases. So people see value in having private health cover, but there's this background of universal healthcare where if you don't have the means, you will still get very good quality care quite promptly. And you know, there's, that's something that the doctors in Australia support, everybody supports because it's a really nice balance between almost a competition between private and public medicine to provide really good quality care. Um, so it, they keep each other honest and there's price competition there as well. So yeah, it's hard to explain that to the average middle-class American. They, they seem to think that they're gonna lose all these choices if medicine becomes socialized. But there are these balanced ways of doing it like, like we do it here in Australia. Personally, I think the way they do it in, in England is over the top. There's like 92% of people covered by the NHS. People are very proud of the NHS and I've worked on the NHS in Oxford and it, it's good, but there's a lot of impersonal medicine goes on there. A lot of not good continuity of care and I think people wait a long time to have their care as well. So, uh, and I haven't heard great things about how the NHS has gone over the last 20 years either. So I think that balance between public and private medicine is really good. Coming back to Australia, you know, look, I can't complain. This is just such a fantastic place. It's a long way away from everywhere, but people here just love getting on a plane, usually, and coming and visiting and seeing other parts of the world and we're great travelers but we also love traveling in our own country it's it's a fantastic country you should come and visit come and visit australia one day it's a great place